Alright guys, welcome back. I uh, apologize for how yesterday's episode actually went. I had the biggest headache I think I've had in a long time, so it didn't really sound very enthusiastic. But we're just going to jump right back into it here. We're going to go ahead and get a heart piece. Uh, I was playing my other file uh, earlier today just to get a feel for what I'll be running into. And the race that you have to do between these two again isn't that bad, like at all. Uh, you just have, yeah, 10 seconds less. It's not even a huge deal. And then pretty much after this, we're going to go meet the Zoras to get another heart piece, and then we'll be going to the temple. Which I ran through just finished about 20 minutes ago or so. Um, and I'm a little surprised, because I'm, I'm using a, a very in-depth walkthrough to get... Basically, so I can show you guys pretty much just about everything you can get in the game. And the the guy who wrote it uh, said that the boss fight in the temple is one of the harder battles of the game. And I beat the guy in 45 seconds. It was very uh, underwhelming. Because it's a, you can either do it uh, by standing on a platform or actually fighting the boss in the water. And there's no need to jump in the water other than when you stun him. And I was actually very, very, very surprised that the guy said it was one of the hardest fights in the game. When it, uh, yeah, when I ended it so fast, it was just uh, very uh, dissatisfying. But you'll see uh, over the next few episodes as we get there what I mean by that. So after we do this race, we'll have to do one more with the older brother, who he has the 25 rings. But every time I finish the race, I always have roughly about 20, about the same time, 20 seconds or so. And it's never, I've never, I didn't think this was too hard at all. <laughs> I love this. One of the dudes like a, a, looks like a swim instructor. The other guy looks like the younger brother, who's just like the layabout, just, just trips acid all day. So like one brother goes and has a job and pays the rent and everything, the other guy's just like, eh, I don't care. <laughs> now when you're doing the race, try not to jump out of the water because it does waste time, uh, leaving you less time if you actually do make a, a fairly big mistake and have to circle back to go through the rings. Other than that, yeah, just stay on his butt and he'll be through this pretty fast. And then we'll come out of this with another heart piece. And now as I'm going through my other file to stay ahead of the game a little bit so I can, you know, give you guys accurate information, I do use a few uh codes that the base I use one code that's just you know you push L to levitate and it's actually kind of funny if you're swimming with the Zora like this and you hit the button to levitate you'll float out of the water you can actually fly in the air like Superman and you can steer and everything it's actually really funny you can just go ahead and fly around. It's, uh, I, I laughed my butt off for about 10 minutes. Alright, and so the, here's where we're going to get another heart piece. And then we'll shoot over to the Zoras to go get another one. Bam! So one more heart piece, which we'll be getting really easily from the Zoras, uh, and we'll have another heart. So just turn around and run right back out here. Whew. 
That looked like that hurt. <laughs> so you just stay in the water to go ahead and get a feel. Or to basically just speed your travel time up here because we're staying in this area. And now as you swim over here, there are more piranha skeleton fish things that, you know, it's not, those aren't too bad. And some like-likes. But as you zip past them, just, you know, fire up the old Zora generator there. And swim right into the stone statue's mouth, and we'll be in the Zora Hall. And feel free to uh, run around and talk to people if you want here. They don't really uh, tell you anything other than the, uh, that Evan, the band leader, has been looking for you. Because, obviously, Macau uh, died trying to go to save Lulu's eggs. So first you want to run over to your room here. And you'll notice that the ladder is broken. But that's what we have the hookshot for. So, whoop, wrong button. There it is. Now, what this part is, you'll uh, be le learning a. If you want to say learning a song, you'll be just reading one. Write this down because you'll have to play it again to get the heart piece. And what's funny is that each of the, the Zora bandmates rooms you go into, they're all playing songs from the uh, older Zelda games. So yeah, for you know fans of the series, you'll you'll understand the music and it'll make you you know give you a little smile. So we go ahead and have a little uh, jam session with Java's hair. And he'll play one part of the song, and then you'll play uh, the notes you just learned. Let me get to talk to the guy first, that might be why. I'm wondering where you are, yeah, I've been dead. <laughs> and we'll go fix Lulu too, because that's what we learned that song from her eggs from. Or for, I should say. to his four notes and then you play the first one you learn and then he'll play another jam and then you play the second part of the notes and then you have to actually remember the entire song so write these down as you come across them you write down the entire song and then you'll go into the next room but you'll have to play the song as Link to get the harp bass because he'll steal the song from you All the Zoras are out there like, whoa, they're playing a pretty sick-ass song. Okay, so we can go ahead and leave the room. We'll head over to Evan's room. And then as soon as we get in there, we'll switch to, to our, our normal self and then we'll play the song. You don't have to talk to Evan. Uh, at first, you just play the song and then he decides to steal it from you. So 
Too bad you need to switch out of your mask there. You play the whole song and he's like, oh wow, cool. jams out a little bit, likes the song, and then steals it, then gives you the heart piece to keep you quiet kind of a thing. Which is good, because it'll give us that extra heart we've been looking at. your Zora mask back on. We're going to go see Lulu. statue while we're here so should you if you need to you know obviously go back in time to give yourself more uh, time for the temple then yeah now's the time okay feel free to stock up on some of the items here you're actually gonna need a lot of magic and a lot of arrows And then go ahead and check out your uh, song you learned from her kids. Play that for her and then uh, she's gonna, they're both going to play and sing a little bit and then uh, you'll get to meet a weird creature here in just a second. jazzy little tune they play here. It's actually kind of nice. Holy crap, you have a giant turtle friend now. It looks like Tattle is blinding you there for a second. It's like, piss off! Get the, get the hell out of my face! Alright, we have a big sleepy turtle friend now. He's the way you get into the temple. Alright, so we're pretty much going to shoot to the temple right after this. Right after his little conversation here. You just use the hook shot to get on his back, but we will pick up on that here on the next episode. So, as soon as this little cutscene's over. Alright, guys, I'll see you back on the couch.